Well, hi guys. Happy Labor Day to everybody who's working and who's not working. Me, not really working, but I am working. Um, there was a little bit of freight out there that we got for the people that are standing. I think we got really one more person that's left from over the weekend that didn't get loaded on a Friday for the Labor Day weekend. Today, I've got a little bit of a leak. I showed it, I think, once or twice that I got a leak in the roof. It kind of comes, it's hard to tell exactly where it is, but I know where it is now, I think. We're gonna go inspect it all together. In Montana, I think I figured it out one time where the leak is. So it's up on top over here. It leaks kind of like in this area. Then it comes and it drips right here. Right now it's pretty dry. But it did rain yesterday and the day before. And as you can see that this spot's a lot darker right there. So leaks. We're going to go up top and check it out. And then I'll show you guys what to do if you guys have a similar issue to this. Because... It needs to get fixed. You can't have, you know, leaky roof and have freight in here that's going to get damaged or wet or whatnot. Can't have that happen. So I'll show you guys a solution to that. Basically, you're going to need to use a product called lap sealant. You can go to any trailer place, anything that has to do with trailers, and buy it from them. It's just a tube of caulk. I'll show you what it is. We're going to go up there clean up the area and then caulk it, recalk everything on that whole side. Basically, one of these. I got it on Amazon a long, long time ago for something else I was going to use and I never ended up using it. So we're going to use this product. You're going to need a caulking gun. Mine's Harbor Freight, I think. Maybe not. Lap sealant, self-adhesive, self-leveling. Basically, you put this stuff on, it levels itself out, goes into the cracks that it needs to go. It's really soft, covers up your issues, and that's it. That's what people use in RVs. It's what people use when they put roof vents up and other cutouts that they do in roofs of any kind of a vehicle. So this is the best product to use. Let's go up on the roof and see what's going on up there. And of course, every time I want to go do something somewhere outside, it has to rain. The weather has to change and it has to rain all of a sudden. So, I think this is it right here. Look at this. This guy. This guy's not bad. But over here, this thing popped up. And I think that this has got to be the issue here. Issue here. The rest look okay. That side, basically why the roof looks like this, I've been commented too. Why does your roof look like crap, man? Why is it all scratched up? Well, because this van had a wrap on it before. This is just extra insulation. It's good for you that way. Good for the van that way. So it doesn't leak here. There's no leaks here. It, it leaks right here because of these guys. See, it's already been factory or whatever sealed. I don't want to rip this off. So I'm going to clean this area up. I'm going to peel as much of this as I can. Right here. You guys see this? Peel as much as I can here. Take off as much as I can. And then use that lap sealant like really, really good around here. And also use it around this guy here too. And that's gonna solve my problem, my issue. It's gonna to have to go like way over and cover all this and you know, hopefully we'll be good. Maybe I'll hammer this down too, I don't know. I'll try one of them, maybe hammering it down, see if it goes down. I don't know why it came up. Oh, hammering it's not gonna do anything. Look at what happens. Obviously it started raining, so I'll clean it up get it prepared and then probably leave it until maybe tomorrow and then just do it tomorrow seal it tomorrow I don't think we're supposed to have rain tomorrow I don't even think we were gonna have rain today anyways had to step away because a neighbor's dog grabbed our dog um, ours likes to go over there and play play hard to get play play Mr. Macho man his name's Tyson so he thinks he's Tyson 
He's not Mike Tyson. So he got what he deserves. He got bitten up a little bit by the neighbor's dog. <clears throat> Anyways. You guys see basically what's going on. These things have gone up. I think these are used for like rack installations when you do rack. If you need a rack. And that's what this is for. And only this side is leaking. Nowhere else. It's not leaking anywhere else. And it comes down right in the same area. So these two are it. As you guys can see this one. And that one's lifted up as well. So we're going to grab a knife. Clean up the wrap around pretty good. Just do some, you know, basic cleanup of it. And then I'll have to use some alcohol, rubbing alcohol or whatnot, tomorrow before I put the lap sealant down. Just go over it, treat it. You guys see how it's lifted up? It's hard to tell, huh? Basically, it's up. These two, this one's even worse. Clean it up, put that stuff down, I'll show you the end result. It should be just fine. Technically, it should work just great. So, unless there's another issue somewhere else, which I don't see because all these seals are perfect everywhere else. Like this one's good everywhere. This one's perfect. So on the older vans, you guys gotta inspect that roof really good. If you guys are getting a leak anywhere, you gotta figure out where it's from. A lot of times, you'll rust, and then you're gonna have like issues along the edges here around the seals where the weld is. This is still in good shape, and I think it's because it has the wrap on it still, so. I'll show you guys how I put the lap sealant down probably tomorrow, because I don't know, unless it clears up towards the evening and then I'll get it done then. But for now, this is it. So this lap sealant calls for a, obviously, as any caulk or anything else you're doing, for a clean surface, which I thought about using gas. If you don't, guys don't have this, you guys can use just regular gas and clean it all up, let it dry up and put on the stuff. But this works just as great. Brake cleaner. This will get rid of really anything. You spray this on, wipe it off, clean it up, let it dry up, and then we're gonna put the stuff on. And look at the, look what's happening. Just maybe 10 minutes, and we're clearing up and the sun's coming out. Gonna be a good day. Maybe we'll go fishing in the evening, we'll see. Maybe I'll take you guys along too, we'll see. wiped it down now it's all clean there's no dirt there's no debris there's nothing and there's no reason to go any anywhere really further than what your area is so when i put it on i'm going to make sure that it goes inside really good and then i'm going to go overlapping the top and just pretty much everywhere around here so it sticks 
So you guys see areas are super clean. I'll wait five minutes just in case for everything to dry up. Whatever else hasn't been dried up. I could also, if you want to speed up the process, you guys could also grab a, an air gun and just blow it with some air and that'll do, the, that'll do the trick too. I don't feel like dragging the air hose out here and doing all that. Even though I probably should, huh? And then I could just get going in a minute. But I'll go inside, I'll go make me some tea, some green tea, drink a little bit of that and then come back out here and finish up. I'll show you guys how to put on that lap sealant. It's not that expensive. I think it's like 15 or something bucks for a tube like that. But you can definitely save it, you know. Wrap it up. Wrap it up with some, you know, duct tape and put it in a bag usually is how it works. Or like a grocery bag, tape it up around. And that way you can reuse it if you ever need to. I don't know how long that'll last, but we'll try to see. Maybe we'll use some regular tape and just kind of wrap around it with a regular tape. And then hopefully next time I need to use it we'll be able to use it but for today I only need a little bit and that's really all it takes that's why I didn't go all crazy around these areas I have no need to all you need is just to cover this area so we'll get it covered up I'll show you guys how that works and then we'll be done and if you guys have any questions or if you have a better method of doing this hit me up in the comments let me know I all I read all the comments and try to answer 99.9% .9 of them as well Next process is easy. You have a knife and you cut this. I like to have a little bit better angle like that. I cut out a huge hole. That way I can stick it, shove it in there really good. And then you punch the hole through. Put it in here. Maybe nobody's held a caulking gun before. And that's it. Start pumping away. Let's go climb the roof and put this on. Here it comes already. Camera's heavy, wants to tip over on a slope. So it's easy. You just put this on. I'll put it on. I guess I can't do this all with you know one hand so I'll put it on I'll show you guys what it looks like this one's white I should have really decided I should have put it purchased a different color but when I bought this originally it was going to be used for a motorhome too so it didn't really matter what color but they sell different colors this one's white so check out what it does I basically just put it on and it's doing its thing just kind of flattening itself out bless me as you guys can see it flattens itself out it's going to go where it needs to go it's going to go in all the crevices that it needs to go and it stays rubbery ish throughout the whole time so seals everything what you guys need to seal the correct way same thing here look at this basically i just had i was kind of messing with it a little bit putting more on top and it just flattens itself out so it'll do what it needs to do and then we'll be perfect. No more leaks. And this van is a 2015 that I have here. So there's no point in my opinion, and especially now in the current market situation, there's no point to buy a brand spanking new van for this job. Why would you overpay for a new one? when in a year you're going to put on 150,000 miles on it or more then you're going to be overpaying buying brand new why don't you get buy a good used one with low mileage for half the price as a new one doesn't make sense anyway at a 2015 I already had a little bit of a leaky roof but there's no explanation why it did that why it's doing this so I'm looking in the front over there I don't see anything else any other issues and on the other side, I don't see any other issues either, so this was the only one. We got it fixed. That's what lap sealant is. Now I'm going to put a bag over this and then tape it up, and then we'll leave it for next time if I ever need to put it on anything else. Maybe that beast if I ever need to, but this thing has been recalled 
And it's got a brand new lap sealant on top of the roof and new caulking and everything else. So that doesn't need it for now. Maybe Daniel's van does. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we ran a screw up through the roof on the Ford, the E-Series one. So that one, I put regular caulking on it. Maybe uh, if that one leaks during the winter time, we'll see. We'll be using more of this on that. God bless you guys. Take care. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We'll see each other next time.